If history had a name, it might be Mort Childress. The retired Louisville police captain has a collection of memorabilia that would make any officer proud. And those are books that the officers had on rules and regulations. And any crook, cringe. Everything you didn't know was just totally conduct. That was a good <laughs> coverall. Billy clubs to badges, pocket pistols to photos to old-time police phones, filling every nook and cranny of the 91-year-old's basement. That's his domain. I guess that's what they call nowadays the man cave. But every man needs a good woman, and it's Mort's wife, Linda, who helps him keep all of this straight, including a staggering archive of biological information on an estimated 6,500 Louisville police officers dating back to 1806. If he has any newspaper article or a picture of this particular officer, he put them in these envelopes. Who is this? Dennis Hennessy. He went on 18... 828-1912. Mort's files include Louisville's first female police officers and its first African-American police officer who also happened to be a woman, appointed to the department in 1922. First of race to act here has arrest power, watches. Louisville police trusted Bertha Wedby to enforce Louisville's laws despite not being equal in its eyes. 40 years after she joined the force, officers were still enforcing segregation. Very discriminating. Mort showed us this book issued to officers in the 60s, outlining how police should handle resentment from minorities angry over the treatment, like not being allowed in public parks. This is important history, even though it's ugly history, isn't it? Oh, sure. You know, it's, it's the way it was. Some of the collection makes you think. Some just makes you smile. Like this newspaper clipping from the department's first patrol car. They, had, they were having trouble catching people in horse and wagons. And they needed the automobile to be a little faster. They called it hurry up wagon. And they made this noise. That's how they knew you were coming. Yeah, well, hopefully. <laughs> Mort is now the unofficial historian of the Louisville Metro Police Department. When people come to the department looking for information from the past, they often send them to Mort, who is happy to hold the key to so much rich history. Well, I know it. I, you, you know, you can ask me something, I know where to find it. I already got a picture in my head about what it is. Mort hopes his entire collection ends up in a museum someday. Until then, he'll keep watch. Eric Flack. You haven't seen a fourth of it. Wave 3 News.